An ABC News exclusive, the first TV interview with the president of the Toronto Raptors since the sheriff deputy shoved him while he was trying to celebrate the team's first NBA championship, defeating the reigning champs, Golden State. And Robin, I know you had a chance to speak to it. I did. Masai Ujiri is originally from Nigeria and has worked very hard to become the Raptors president, currently one of the only black NBA team presidents. He wanted to enjoy the time-honored tradition, you know, of joining his team on the court to celebrate but a sheriff's deputy stopped him, shoving him repeatedly in an altercation that made headlines around the world. He is now moving forward, saying the incident is renewing his fight for social justice. There's a new NBA champion. What was supposed to be a dream moment at the 2019 NBA Finals. We the North are now we the champions. Turned into a nightmare for Toronto Raptors president Masai Ujiri. You're making your way out to the court. Please tell us in your own words what happened then. There's a lot of chaos going on on the, on the court. I walk up and, and that's when I, I actually um, got stopped. As Ujiri makes his way on the court to celebrate the historic victory with his team, a sheriff's deputy stops him, aggressively shoving Ujiri, not once but twice, <laughs> while Ujiri is seen reaching for his credentials. What were you thinking at that moment? We don't just go like buy a championship in in Walmart or something, you know, <laughs> like it's something you're trying so hard uh, to do and, and you're trying to figure out how do I go uh, uh, celebrate with um, with my guys and now you get this confrontation and it confuses you, you know, and I, I honestly I was confused. You're taken aback and you don't even know how to uh, to react. He was eventually allowed to join his team on court players rallying behind him. Eight months later, the deputy involved, Alan Strickland, filing a civil suit for monetary damages against Ujiri, claiming Ujiri injured him and was the aggressor. In the complaint, Strickland alleging Ujiri, quote, hit him in the face and chest with both fists. Ujiri's lawyers countersuing, calling the deputy's account of the encounter a complete fabrication, which ultimately led to the release of the body cam footage in August 2020. You saw it for the first time, and everybody was else was able to see what truly transpired. What was that moment like for you? I called my wife, I called uh, family, and uh, I couldn't sleep for three days, three, four days in the bubble because you, you, you seen that tape. Yes, you have vindicated. You feel that, yes, this is the right story. People said you punched a policeman, you, you hit his jaw, you broke his jaw. There's all kinds of things. And you begin to doubt yourself. As time goes on, you begin to actually like wonder what really happened. Both lawsuits have been dropped nearly two years after the encounter. But Ujiri says the incident has reignited his push for equality. This is not just a legal fight that you have a new fight. What is your new fight with this? As much as we say, um, uh, yeah, this happened to me, as worse that it happened to other people, right? Uh, uh, George, George Floyd, I lost a moment. Uh, people have lost their lives. I say as humble as I can, maybe the privilege or the job that I have to fight this, they're wrongly accused. Uh, there's no body cams, nobody sees what happens and and they are incarcerated or they are accused or they are charged, we have to fight for them. Starting in scouting, Ujiri worked his way up in the league to become the Denver Nuggets GM and has held the coveted spot as Raptors team president since 2013. A humanitarian at heart, he's dedicated much of his career to philanthropy, empowering youth in his homeland for nearly two decades through his organization, Giants of Africa. We want to teach basketball the basic fundamentals of it, and we want to find talent, but then it even grew bigger. They are incredible young girls, young boys that need a pathway. My job with the opportunity that the NBA has blessed me with, I have to continue to do this. We teach the kids more life skills, uh, being honest, uh, being on time, respect for elders, respect for women. Everybody go like this. As he encourages the next generation to dream big, Ujiri says he now moves forward, hoping for a future without discrimination. I want people to really think about humanity and who we are as human beings. And it's really, really important that we treat each other well.
Uh, we reached out to the sheriff deputy's legal team for comment. Thus far, they have not heard back. And your jury says he is thankful for that body cam mm -hmm. video that was only released after the sheriff's well, deputy. It's ch chilling to hear him say he was actually rethinking what happened. Because yeah. he kept hearing it over and over again, but he said he's so thankful it was released because had it not, many people would have doubted his account. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why he is, is moving forward, and he's wanting to be the voice for those who don't have the video, who don't have the evidence mm -hmm. that something has happened to them and people not believing yeah. them as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.